I was called out to a job site yesterday where a blue gum eucalyptus had a very large limb that broke off and fell to the ground. And while I was cutting up the limb, I recognized that every single leaf on this giant blue gum tree was chewed up. And I'd heard about the eucalyptus tortoise beetle, but I really haven't been paying close enough attention. So I looked at the rest of the tree, and to my surprise, I couldn't find a single leaf on the entire giant blue gum eucalyptus tree that wasn't chewed up. So I've been driving around looking at other blue gum eucalyptus trees, and they're all messed up. Every single blue gum tree that I've been able to find has evidence of the tortoise beetle, the eucalyptus tortoise beetle. So let me show you what I'm finding here. Blue gum eucalyptus, one of the giants in California. It's an imported tree that has gone absolutely wild. There's probably millions of these things growing in California now. And there's a few problems. The number one problem is these trees get absolutely enormous. They're one of the giants of the gums of the eucalyptus species and of all the trees around California. Some of the eucalyptus, blue gum eucalyptus are um, trunks, I've seen trunks in excess of eight feet in diameter. This particular tree is about uh, 90 feet tall and I'm gonna guess it's about uh, 40, maybe 50 years old. So it's not a really old tree. There's a, a few problems that we have with this tree in terms of insects. One is the eucalyptus psyllid. It's a tiny little bug that gets on the backside of the leaves and, and sucks on the leaves and, and can be devastating. And uh, the next problem is a fairly new problem, and it's, it's an insect called the, um, the tortoise beetle. And I wish I could find one to show you, but uh, you can see what it does to the, the foliage on the tree, and it just has wiped out everywhere that you look. I'm looking for these little bad guys, and I can't seem to see any. But if you look through the entirety of this branch that fell down, Almost every single leaf has been chewed on. So I see this insect as a, a problem. It's, it's not likely going to kill the plant, but if it's causing this much damage to the, the tree, um, I, I, I don't know what the long-term ramifications are going to be. So I've lived in California all my life, and I've seen this problem in you know small amounts. But I gotta say, this is excessive. And everywhere I look, there's another one. I'm having a hard time finding any leaves that are not chewed. And I'm sure that's through the whole canopy. Um, yeah, I'm looking, looking up and everywhere, everywhere I look, all the leaves are being chewed on. So, just what we need, another serious insect problem in California. And I am looking really, really close. I'm gonna ask Lucy about this one, find out what their habits are. Maybe they go into a stage and they've flown off. Um, look at that, all the new foliage has all been chewed off all the way up. So, eucalyptus trees, another problem.